Hello everyone, Andrew here with Kimball Realtors. And Lori. And we want to talk to you today about our YouTube channel, how we've grown our YouTube channel, and um, you know what inspired us to start this. Now, a couple of disclosures first. First of all, if it's your first time here, uh, thanks for showing up, and please subscribe, and like as Lori says, smash, smash that, that like, like button. button. We appreciate that. A couple of disclosures. We're going to be talking about a few things that we do as far as affiliates. We do have affiliate links down below to everything that we have purchased here. And if you purchase them, we get a small commission on there. So we want to give you a full disclosure on that. Also let you know that we do not put affiliate links for anything that we don't personally use ourselves. So everything that we talk about for an affiliate link is a product that we use ourselves. So what we want to talk to you today about is our YouTube channel and how it's grown from what was originally a real estate channel into a all kind of encompassing YouTube channel which we'll talk about more in a little bit but right. Lori talk a little bit about the the real estate channel and how we started it how long ago we started it and so we've had the channel for about nine and a half years now and but we only used it for like virtual tours whenever we had a home or a condo in the Wisconsin Dells Lake Dalton area in Wisconsin we would put it on YouTube for the virtual tour. And then as technology got more and more, then we did a little bit more stuff. But for the most part, it was strictly real estate. We really didn't go in detail other than here's a home for sale or here's a condo for sale. So we were very sure. limited. And we didn't even think about um, doing videos on YouTube besides our virtual tours at that point. And we did that for like probably seven years before we actually started paying attention that um, we enjoyed YouTube. We watch YouTube more than anything else, and that uh, we both said, "Why don't we do this? It's fun because you know we can give you great content." Yeah, and then I think one of the things that we did, one of the things that started our videos was we started doing, uh, for example, "Do I need a home inspection?" Tips for home buyers, tip for home sellers. So we started doing a lot of uh, real estate content, and then we started developing into some more of the things that we were also passionate about. And as we started this, we started looking at other YouTube channels for ideas on what they did and what we could do and how we could improve it and how we could be bringing value to our viewers. And that came to the first thing we wanted to talk about today, which was um, YouTube Secrets. This was from uh, Think Media, correct? Uh, Sean Canal. Sean Canal from Think Media. From Think Media. Right. Uh -huh. And we watch a lot of their... Uh, channel to like we found out about our lighting ideas that we use in fact you can't see them in the uh, shot here but we have three different lighting uh, fixtures that we use here that we learned about how to use them on Think Media and they started talking about this book that they had so we got this book uh, YouTube Secrets is by Sean Cannell and Benji Travis and um, I highly recommend this to anyone who is either starting out a YouTube channel or already has a YouTube channel and wants tips on how to improve their YouTube channel. You know, there's a lot of people making money on YouTube. And for us, and part of this, and part of the book even mentions this, that that necessarily shouldn't be your goal is just to make money on YouTube. One of the things that I really liked about this book and YouTube Secrets was it explained with, start with a why. Why do you want to have a YouTube channel? For us it was, we started doing this for the real estate videos, and that was our why we started the channel, and we really liked doing that. And then we realized that we could bring more content to people and more value to people by expanding out on that channel as well. So one of the things he said again right away was start with a why. And then he said, the clearer the purpose and passion of your channel, the more likely you are to get subscribers. So offer your viewers value. One of the most important things you can do with your channel is, again, offer value to your viewers. Have content that's going to make people want to subscribe to you, continue watching your video. It's so important. I know it sounds kind of cliche to say that, and sometimes people just say, hey, you know, I'm going to make a YouTube channel, it's going to be great, I'm going to have a viral video. But you really got to look at it from your viewers' point of view. What, what is adding value to them? 
Um, mm -hmm. So what? And there's a whole and there's a great book and there is a link down below. Like I said, we're an affiliate. You can pick up that book. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend it. The link is down below for the book. Yeah. It's a very good book. It kind of breaks everything down in detail, which is what we need. Because when you do a YouTube video, you're not really sure what direction kind of what you're doing, um, and people want to see content, great content, right. and this kind of helps us guide us into how to make great content, how to have a proper camera to record, sound, lighting, and so forth. So right. this is a must read if you're doing and YouTube videos. One of the quotes I really liked, and this is towards the end of the book, it says, you know, the world needs you to be fully you. So combine your experiences and your personality quirks into something creative on YouTube. And what YouTube needs is more content creators that are uniquely themselves. It states clearly, don't try to be somebody else. Find what you're passionate about and then bring that out to your viewers. Because you don't want to look at another channel and just copy that channel because there's so many channels out there. There's a lot of room in YouTube for new creators and new content creators, but you need to be uniquely you. Find something you're passionate about and bring that out. So I really recommend that book for that. The next thing that we're going to talk about, I'm going to have Lori talk about this a little bit more than, than me because she's the one that uses this. She does a lot of our editing more. And we use a program called TubeBuddy that is really great for your analytics. I'm going to let Lori talk a little bit more about TubeBuddy and how we started using that. Well, TubeBuddy has been mentioned by um, a few different uh, uh, YouTube creators or channels whatever you want to call them specifically, and TubeBuddy kept getting mentioned. And we heard this last year quite a bit, but we never really thought about it. And then this year, when we kind of took the, um, the journey, as you say, into doing YouTube, not full-time, but we treat it as full-time. Our full-time career is real estate, and that will always be our number one passion. But YouTube is part of real estate in what we're doing now by adding more content and ideas mm -hmm. and explaining things I think is part of real estate and part of our channel um, and so we found TubeBuddy by accident I I think even from Think Media also Nick uh, Nimmons I forget his name is I forget forgive me if that's a wrong name or the mm -hmm. pronunciation um, and there was like two other channels that we've been watching regularly, like um, how to grow your YouTube channel, how to get more views, how to uh, have better lighting, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so we started watching these and we were enjoying the content and how they did it. And TubeBuddy kept getting mentioned. So for us, TubeBuddy really is uh, very helpful for SEO, for our, t our keywords, our tags, when we do the video. And it kind of shows the ranking, like how good a phrase it was or or what do you think and, for, for this video? Is this right. a good topic? Or how about a title? So it really helps in every aspect of creating your video before you go live with it. Yeah, and what I really liked about it too was the analytics that showed you exactly how long people are watching your video. So if you've got a 10 minute video and all of a sudden you see everybody's leaving after one or two minutes, now you realize you didn't do a good enough job of getting their attention to want to stay longer into that video. So you can look at that and say, well, what did I do? Why are they leaving here? And try to make your next video a little bit better. I always say that each, our last video is always our best video because we try to make it better than the previous video. So every video is improving. So TubeBuddy really helps us look at those analytics. It gives you an idea of you know who's watching, not only who's watching your video, but the demographics as far as their age and their gender. Mm -hmm. And most importantly that I found about it was again, how long they're watching each type of video. Now I might find that a certain real estate video, if it's just a home tour, might get people into it longer as they're watching it. And that's very important for YouTube then to recommend it to other people in their, in their search engines part of it. So I look at all those analytics and I see, most importantly that what I found was how long they um, watch it and then again, why did they quit watching it there? So I analyze each video to find out what I can do better on that for the next video. So I think that's very important. There's a lot of other really great features on oh, it that yeah. you can do a monthly subscription for it. Again, link down below. And yeah, as I say, the link is down below. We, and we don't affiliate anything we don't use. That's something that so I'm very adamant about. We don't affiliate anything. TubeBuddy we don't use. is an awesome, yes. awesome little uh, Google Chrome plugin. And uh, 
definitely give it a try. Yeah. And if you're interested, just click the link. There's a free version. Just check it out. It will help your yeah. videos tremendously. So right away, when you're getting started, I recommend this book, YouTube Secrets, uh -huh. and also TubeBuddy. Those are two things that I think you really have to do if you're getting started on YouTube and you really want to start creating content on YouTube. I think that's right. very important. Yeah. Go ahead. I, I feel that... Um, we're making this video for these three reasons, and think media is a big part of it. And we want to say thank you for that because you guys put out great content. You explain things. Your editing is amazing. You hold our attention. We watch the whole video, and that's the whole idea of great content. So hopefully that what we've learned from you is starting to carry over into our right. videos, how we present things, how we show things, what we use and what we don't use. Yep. So um, and thank you for that. I really enjoy all of you. I want to see more of more women, more girls on there, okay? <laughs> um, so on, on that note as well, so one of the things that we did when we started our channel was try to find out um, the best equipment you could use considering not everybody has a huge budget. I mean, if you've got a big budget, you could spend tens of thousands of dollars on equipment. Um, with us, our budget was limited on what we could spend, so we wanted to find out the very best things we could do. We are filming this on a Canon EOS 50, right? M50. 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 And we actually found this from Think, Midi, Think Media's review Thank you of again. that Think um, Media. camera. So we got this camera here. It's great because we can use it for our real estate videos when we need to. Now, our real estate company, we hire a professional photographer because we're not professional photographers. So for our real estate video tours and such of the, the home properties, we do hire someone. But if we can't get them out there right away, because often they're booked two to three weeks out, we'll take the pictures ourselves. And we found that this takes great pictures, takes great video, and it also has great audio, which is really good for the YouTube videos. This is a really good one to start with. The EOS M50, moderately priced. You know, you could you could go cheaper with them, and they probably aren't going to be quite as good. You could go a lot more expensive, but we were, we've been really happy with this one for kind of a starting point for your YouTube channel. And I think for our channel and for each other in our real estate brokerage, this has been an all-around camera because we can use video, we can use um, pictures, and the audio, like he said, is very, very, it's great. It sounds really good. And what we did is we bought it with a kit that came with um, some filters. It also came with a wide-angle lens, which the wide-angle lens was really good for real estate photography, so we really appreciate that, having that wide-angle lens for it. And then what we also did was we bought, because we can't just be working all the time, we like to have some fun sometimes as well, we bought this um, 35 to 300 millimeter uh, telephoto zoom lens. Zoom. And this is great for <laughs> nature photography. Uh, Lori has captured some really good nature photography, which she's going to try and, to show in all this in between here. Oh yeah, in all this, of course, the links will be down below, so you can look at this equipment and purchase it if you want. Um, but yes, uh, we have some beautiful pictures of like deer and birds and and raccoons and stuff. Hummingbirds. But I'm going to show you some hummingbird pictures right about now. Awesome. And one of the things to keep in mind too is that, and we made this mistake, that's why I'm going to tell you about this. So we bought the um, EOS M50 and then we decided that we wanted to get the telephoto lens for it. This particular lens, in order to use this lens on this camera, because it's a very large, it's a beautiful, great lens, but, but you do long. need an adapter. So it doesn't actually fit directly on the M50 camera. And we, we made that mistake. So there is a simple adapter that goes on your camera and then allows you to put this lens on there. Uh, you're, you are going to need this adapter to use this lens with this camera. We'll have links to all three of them in there. But it really just adds an element of fun to it. Mm -hmm. You could get by without this, but again, it adds an element of fun to uh, to be able to just take a little break and just get some nature photography. And, and especially in the mornings, because there's always a lot of activity in the morning time with birds and, and often deer is out there doing their, their thing. Since we're out in the country, we're like uh, seven, eight minutes from downtown Wisconsin Dells. So 
we're, it's like we're in the country and there's just so much wildlife. So I like to have that set up with the zoom lens on it right by the um, sliding glass door. So we have like hundreds of acres behind us and literally there's so much activity, I want to be able to just pick up the camera yeah, and just something. shoot a picture and zoom in real close. And like I said, I'll, I'll put up some uh, pictures, especially of the hummingbirds. Those are just beautiful. And uh, yeah, yeah, anything you want to add um, about that? No, I think like I said, this is a really good startup for, for real estate, for personal use, and for your YouTube videos. Great camera to have, great lens to add to it. Um, and, and this, remember we tried this for real estate last yes, week, yes. We, we did a zoom of the Wisconsin River, we, we yes. went some bluffs and some stock pictures. It, they're beautiful and I'll throw up a picture or two right now. The Wisconsin River. Okay, now also right now we are using the microphone that is on the, um, Canon, the Canon M50. The microphone's on there. We also do, I use Doodly, and we also use uh, Storyblocks. Story and we blocks. do um, voiceovers on both the Doodly and on the Storyblocks. So this was another one that we looked on Think Media, actually recommended this one as being the best one for um, your voiceover microphones. And this is a um, Samsung, Samsung USB microphone, it's the Q2U, and again, There'll be links down below to get this. And you have to point this out. It's a Samsung, S-A-M-S-O-N. Yes, Samsung. Not Samsung, like, right, like Samsung. the cell phone. Yeah. So make sure you don't make that mistake. But it's an actual USB microphone, and this is really good. It's rated one of the top microphones for doing your voiceovers or doing your, like I said, with my doodly, I do a voiceover. Or if you're just doing a podcast, this is a great microphone for doing that. Um, so that's something that we highly recommend as well. So these are a few of the tools that we use, uh, again, for our YouTube channel. As always, I say, you know, please, if you like what you're seeing, please comment and subscribe. Tell yeah. us what you like about it. If you see anything you like here and you want to go to our affiliate links and get that for us from us, we'd really appreciate that. It's just a small amount, but it just helps us, you know, be able to, to keep going on this here for you. Um, and as I always say as well, if there's one thing you can't get through the affiliate links, and that is a Kimball Realtors coffee mug. Uh -huh. The only way to get a Kimball Realtors coffee mug is to buy or sell a home through Kimball Realtors of Wisconsin Dells. So, limited time supply, if you act now, Cheers. you can get a free Kimball Realtors coffee mug with purchase, purchase or selling of a home with Kimball Realtors. Exactly. Thank you. And again, to... Um say thank you and we appreciate Think Media. You guys have been amazing. Uh, hopefully we can actually talk to you sometime and meet you someday and have a conversation because you've helped us and probably hundreds if not thousands of people on YouTube. So please keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Um, the camera, yep. the book. Get this book, highly recommend it because like I said, huh. it's really gonna give you some good advice and also, in a way, kind of keep you grounded with it, kind of let you know really what to expect when you're starting a YouTube channel because I think it's a lot different than what most people do expect. It is a lot of work. You're going to put a lot of work into it, so you better pick a topic that you're passionate about, that you're willing to put that work in for. Um, you're going to see as our channel expands, we're going to be doing some more motivational things and spiritual things. We're going to try to encompass some more things within our channel. And they're all things that we are passionate about when we're not doing real estate. Right. We love real estate. We'll always do real estate. We're very passionate about that. We love helping clients, whether we're buying or selling a home. We love to help them. And but there's a lot of things we're passionate oh, about. We're I'm very have. much into meditation and spirituality. As a matter of fact, years ago, I, I used to teach um, meditation and practices. I spent time in Indonesia and uh, Thailand and the Philippines and other countries. And when I was younger... And I learned a lot of good things, so I'd like to share what I've learned. And uh, Andrew is really into the law of attraction and understanding the infinite intelligence. Yes, as you law call of it. attraction and goal setting. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing some book reviews on you know some of the classic motivational books that I think can help you. Whether again, whether you're in real estate, whether you're in business, whether you're just you know trying to get through life because we're all trying to get through life right now, and there's just some really good books that can help you so we're going to be reviewing some of those we already have we already reviewed um uh, awaken, awaken the giant, the giant within. Within. Tony we did Robbins. a video on um 
Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Uh huh. Robert and, Kiyosaki. Right. And then uh -huh. we did we did a video of just my top five favorite books that I think help motivate people. And what people. is your number one book that you, you always, love? Always, always, always. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon, Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill. And yes. we'll be doing a separate video just about Think and Grow Rich because that's one that I highly recommend everybody read. Again, whether you're young, old, anywhere in between, anywhere you are on your work journey, your personal journey, I just think it really, um, really helps you again put a lot of things in perspective about what's possible in this world because there's so much stuff that's possible mm -hmm. um, we were just talking to some people over the weekend and we were kind of giving a little bit of advice on what's possible and I believe anything is possible for people I believe having a YouTube channel is possible for people if that's what they're passionate about and that's what I believe do. I also believe company. that we can um, be full-time there's a lot of people that are full-time and this is just not a young person's game or side hustle as they say um, no you could do this full-time and be older and kind of give our experience on top of what we're passionate about right yes exactly uh -huh. things that you're passionate about and again you know this is something that really stuck with me in this book here is you know know why you're doing it and you know, do what you're passionate about let that come through in your videos have great content but do things that you're passionate about because you know of all the billions of people in the world there's only one you there's only one me there's only one Lori and we all have a different perspective to bring to the world so we all have something to offer the world and I think it's a great thing a great forum more or less that we have here that people can can express what that one unique thing is that they bring to the world Absolutely. I would love 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 to hear that in the comments down below tell me what you're passionate about if you could start a YouTube channel what would that be um, what are you passionate about what would you like to bring to the world what's uniquely you that you bring to the world because every one of us is uniquely different and every single person in the world brings something different to this world so don't ever think hey this isn't something I could do because it is you've got something within you that you could bring to the world that other people are gonna want to see as well and uh, if we've helped you in any way shape or form talking about think media the camera, some of the gear with the camera, TubeBuddy, uh, this great book here, YouTube Secrets, TubeBuddy. All the links are down below to everything that we discussed. You can purchase it or at least take a look at it. And uh, we thank you. And if we helped you in even just a little bit, gave you a good idea, please give us a thumbs up. As we like to say, smash that, smash like, that button. like button. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Definitely smash that like button and all the subscribers. Thank you so much. We've slowly grown from like uh, You know a hundred subscribers to uh, we're just about at 3,000 That's not a lot, but we just want to focus on giving you great content and uh, I know by doing that over time We'll get more subscribers and more people uh, enjoying what we're providing to you. Yes, so and again, like I said earlier, in the comments, tell us what you'd like to see. There's lots that we can talk about, whether it be, again, real estate. You know, the real estate market's crazy right now. Everybody keeps talking about how crazy it is right now. We'd love to talk to you about that. Check out some of our other videos where we do talk about the real estate market and what's happening with the real estate market. And again, anything at all, put it down in the comments. As always, we really appreciate you watching. Thank you. Thank you, and check out our next video. It's right over here. Thank you, be well, and we'll see you soon. Take care.